Northern Entertainment, the Northern Alex here, or oh, welcome to my 3000 subscriber uh, Q&A special episode of ETS2. We have all kinds of special episodes this week, uh, which is still the week where we are kind of celebrating my uh, 3000 subscriber milestone, which for me is a milestone, definitely. Some might think it's uh, pitiful, but no, I think it is quite the achievement. And uh, I couldn't have done it without the continued support of you guys, so thank you for that. So, uh, yeah, as I said, it's going to be the 3,000 subscriber um, Q&A. There were not many questions, so there will not be many answers since, well, there were not many questions. Makes sense, kind of, doesn't it? But that's okay, because uh, the time that I do not spend with... Oh, it stopped snowing. That's nice. Uh, the time that I don't have to spend with questions, I can spend telling you guys what's coming up on my channel. And there's quite a bit of things coming uh, that are changing. and uh, Two new games. Well, not really new games, but new series anyway. Uh, the end of one, the beginning of another. Um, EM... Emergency 4 is gonna change and uh, we will get to all this in the course of this episode but uh, let me start with the Q&A or oh, actually let me start with something completely different and that is uh, something uh, that kinda well that I was thinking about a lot lately on which uh, video it was but there was a comment that said oh I'm one of your old subscribers when you still cared about your subscribers and uh, it kind of made me think um, I don't know if it was a joke or if it was just well just a little bit of hazing or whatever but uh, I want you guys to know that I do care about my subscribers because <laughs> Without you guys, with, with you, my subscribers, with you, my viewers, well, this channel would be nothing, because, yeah, there would be uh, no views for, for the stuff that I'm creating, for the content that I'm putting out there. And uh, so if you ever think I'm not caring about my viewers or about my subscribers, then you are badly mistaken, because I genuinely do care about every single one of you guys and I try to answer as many uh, comments as many questions as I possibly can sometimes yeah I know it takes about a week because uh, while I see the comments directly well I do have a life besides YouTube and besides uh, answering questions helping people so uh, sometimes it just takes a little bit longer because quite frankly I forget there is no no two ways of saying it. I, I, I. But sometimes I just simply forget I'm just human. So with that being said, let's get to the Q&A. And uh, I'm gonna do it in no particular order because it's only one, two, three, four, five, six questions. Um, so that's fairly simple, and I was honestly I was surprised that with 3,000 subscribers, only six questions. But I guess that's okay. If that's all you want to know, then hi, hi, hi. I don't know why I always do this. You would think after all this time I would get used to it. But mm. Oh well. Let me just make this turn here and then we definitely can uh, get this uh, Q&A going here. I just I do not want to wreck any more than I already have and lord knows I wrecked this truck enough. Nothing in the way, what in the world? I just don't know. So 
sometimes I don't understand this game. <sighs> oh well. gonna stay here yeah hmm wait somebody has to make a move here okay then I'm gonna be somebody that this trailer comes around fast enough. That's the biggest problem with being that long. Uh, come on, back up. Yeah, I already touched you, I know, but there was really nothing I can do about it, so... Back up, man. Hmm. If I do it very, very slowly, at least I'm not getting any fines for it, I hope. There's nothing I can do. Sorry, sorry. Ah, there we go. Now he backs up. Alright, so the first question came from uh, Frederick and it was other than hockey what sports do you like well what sports do I like other than hockey well as you guys probably know especially if you follow me on Twitter um, I am an Oilers fan and I was an Oilers fan before I ever came to Canada it's just Oilers all the way um, now as of now that we get the obvious out of the way, uh, what else do I like? Well, I do like uh, Canadian football, CFL. And there, surprise, surprise, I am very much fond of... Uh, of uh, Edmonton Eskimos. Might not be the best team in the CFL that there is, but... Uh, I always kind of felt like Edmonton is... Uh, one of my favorite cities in Canada, my favorite city in uh, Alberta, and uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I live in a small town, which I really genuinely enjoy, um, well, I guess I would live still in Edmonton. I used to live in Edmonton, and I thoroughly enjoyed that time, but... Uh, I grew up in a small town, and I'm just a small town guy, I guess. So, but yeah, I I genuinely enjoy uh, watching the CFL. Um, I have no enjoyment because there was another question that I got asked, not in within a Q and A, but uh, just on one of my videos, somebody asked that at some point if I liked the uh, UFC. Uh, and I watched it a couple of times, and it's just... I don't know. I don't enjoy it. It's just not my, my cup of tea. If you enjoy it, more power to you, and uh, absolutely. That's the wonderful thing. We can all like different things, and... That's just the way it is. Yeah, other than that... Sports that I do play... Um, can laugh or cannot laugh, whatever, is uh, badminton. We do have a uh, badminton set actually outside in the yard in the three months that we don't have snow. And uh, my wife and I and the kids are very avid badminton players. Uh, badminton, 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 oh my goodness, badminton <laughs> players. Um, we enjoy the game and my wife as well as uh, myself, we are quite competitive, so friendly games sometimes 
get a little bit carried away, especially if it's just us two. And since our kids are all very small yet, well, the oldest one is eight. Um, yeah, most likely, and it, it starts out with maybe four of us, and then in the end, it's my wife and I just trying to beat each other's score. Um, I do like tennis. I play tennis. Well, I played tennis. It's not much time to play tennis anymore, but uh, we have a nice court here uh, in our community, so that's nice. So if if there is sunshine next year, then I'll probably try to get my wife out on the tennis court again, but uh, it's another sport that I enjoy. So the next question was, uh, where do you see yourself years from now? Ah, in the ditch. Because I tried reading while driving again. My goodness, see? See, kids? And this is why you don't text and drive. And kids, I don't mean uh, as... Uh, or the term kids, I don't mean any offense by it, just... It's the dead in me. It's just the way it is. And I so need to fix this engine. Where do I see myself years from now? Hmm. Well, I know he... Uh, and that question came from Tom, by the way. Um, I see myself years from now wherever you guys uh, want me. And by that I mean I can have all the goals in the world and I can do uh, all, all, all kinds of crazy things but if you guys don't like it and if you guys don't support me on the channel then I will be exactly where I am today. Or maybe even with less subscribers than today. Um, it's hard for me to predict the future. Would it be nice to be sometime at, at 15,000 or 20,000 or 30 or 40, 50,000 subscribers? Oh, absolutely. But uh, I'm not doing this for the subscribers. I'm not doing that for the numbers. I'm, I'm, I, I don't need to put the and, and that might sound stupid, because in a way, that's what you do as a YouTuber. Um, but I don't want to put the spotlight just on me and say, oh yeah, I'm so great, I want to uh, have this and this many subscribers. No, it's just not what I want. What I want, what I can honestly say what I want in the future, and this is what I want now, this is what I want in the future, is make content, make videos, uh, whatever kind that might be that you guys enjoy watching and this is this is where I see myself years from now um, if you guys continue to watch my videos then I see myself on YouTube playing the games that I love to play and uh, make videos out of them with the games that I love to play uh, to entertain you guys because in the end this is what this channel is all about it is about you the viewer being entertained by the content that I'm putting out oh, I wonder how entertaining this is now gonna be it would be nice if I can make this turn for once without having to wreck the sign, but this is probably not going to happen. No, maybe. 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 No! Another sign gone. I want ETS so bad. I mean, the off ramps are still gonna be a pain in the butt. <laughs> a new engine. Still gonna be a pain in the butt to get on the highway and off the highway, but at least, yeah, it was not so bad, at least you don't have this darn 
well, this, this, this tight turn and small streets and all that good stuff. So yeah, I hope Tom that answers your question and uh, at this point also since, uh, well I wanted to, to announce that in another place but I might as well announce it right now so if you watch this Tom, uh, Congratulations, because uh, you might remember in one of my videos I said one of the giveaways on this uh, 3k special is going to be my uh, most active subscriber, according to Google+. And uh, that would be you, so congratulations for winning ETS2 with the Go in East uh, expansion pack. I will contact you. I do have you on Steam already. I will uh, contact you though and make sure that you don't have ETS2 already. If you do, then there's a couple of other games that you can choose from, but um, yeah. As of right now, you won that game and I hope it will bring you joy. Oh, we are in Lyon. I didn't even notice that we are in, uh, in France. Well, little did I know. So, since I'm parked right now, I might as well look here uh, for my next question. And the next question is, did you ever get mad? Or how much does it take to get you mad in a game? For example, when you code zero, well, this stuff kind of can get me mad if I get red, of, uh, no, red light offense tickets when there was really no need for that. human I'm I'm getting mad now how much does it take well it takes quite a bit um, sure I'm I'm getting I'm not happy when when things happen like people run into me or I code zero or whatnot but really mad I don't know if you could say and maybe that would be something to ask my fellow uh, well everybody that usually uh, plays with me might know that better than I do, they might be the better persons to ask, but I wouldn't say I get uh, violently mad like <clears throat> other people. I'm not naming any names, but we all know there are some people that get really, really, really easily mad. And I'm I'm just not that person. I'm you know I'm kinda like the, the big teddy bear. I just take life as it comes and same with video games. It takes a lot to get to get me really, really, really mad and it's more like things um, that I do that get me mad more than anything else because I have rather high standards and uh, that makes me more mad than when it's something that's because of a game mechanic or in, in case of uh, GTA 4 we all knew that um, yeah, there's really so much you can do or only so much you can do there's just a matter of fact that the game is not stable so that really doesn't make me mad but if I fail in, in, in things and, and it's my failure that's yeah that's where I can get mad although with the years you get more relaxed about things too. 
Oh yeah, nice. Just skip the whole... Just skip the... Skip the toll booth right on. Stay up. So I hope that answered that question and uh, let's get to the next question. That one is from Broken Dreams 23. What it is what is it like? What is it like to miss your gear uh, to miss your shift? No. Um, what is it like to be with Code Zero and uh, being a YouTuber? Well, what is it like to be with Code Zero? With Code Zero, being with Code Zero is just like... Well, I guess you could say, when you guys play with your friends, then that's the same. I mean, we always said that, and it still holds true. We are a group of friends, not more, not less. We are not a clan, we are nothing else but a group of friends. Now, we are friends that all have the same hobby and that just happen to have all channels. Well, actually, no. We have even now one member in Code Zero that doesn't have a channel yet, or not really a big channel anyway. So what is it like to be? Well, it is like playing with friends. It is where you can talk, it is just uh, where people know things about you that others don't know, and uh, where there's... Uh, trust between each other especially now it's it's really really uh, peaceful in the group no tensions no nothing regardless of what uh, the masses say or <laughs> some people say um, there is really no tension between each other we are just playing games together and I mean let's be honest uh, compared to let's say Tim or Chris I'm really not that active in in group videos because why well, for one thing I don't have GTA f uh, 5 so that of course makes a difference and uh, well I do things that nobody else in the group really does or not as much anyway uh, my reviews and stuff like that it's just uh, we we are different characters and it's it's just amazing how we all Kinda merge together. It, it is uh, there is a synergy in this uh, a synergy in this this group. That is pretty amazing if if you experience it. And uh, we come all from completely different backgrounds. I mean, I'm by far the oldest one. I think the next oldest would be Jeff. And uh, it's just yeah, it's it's I don't know. It's just friends being together so that's that part um, what it is like to be a youtuber hmm well for me it is uh, doing what I like and being able to do what I like and share it with others that's all there is to it I don't see myself as some great star or anything like that uh, because I am not I'm I'm a normal guy. I'm a man that has his struggles like everybody else. So I love what I'm doing. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. And uh, it is amazing for me. Uh, that's maybe the the most amazing part for me is when I get comments or private messages. Like uh, I got a private message. Uh, what was it three weeks ago from uh, somebody who wants to remain nameless which is fine but you know who you are and uh, it turns out that by the time that I started my channel um, and he's one of my oldest subscribers long before I even well I even knew that Code Zero existed um, because I had this channel about six I think it was six months or seven months before yeah, literally, I even knew that Code Zero existed. Um, 
but he he wrote me that uh, by the time that I started my channel or right around that time he started uh, a new regime of chemotherapy and uh, well my videos that uh, made his day a little bit brighter and uh, <coughs> this really yeah, it's amazing when I when I hear stories like that. Or, I mean, not even to this extreme, but uh, when Tom tells me, "Oh well, I'm I'm sorry that I couldn't watch your videos," I'm thinking, "Well, don't be sorry because you have a life, man." Uh, I don't expect everybody to watch my videos, and I, I don't expect you to to be like, "Oh, I have to watch his videos." No, if you want to watch my videos, then watch my videos. If you feel like it gives you something, it gives you some kind of entertainment. Wow, that was close. Uh, it gives you some kind of entertainment. It, it uh, makes time go by faster and yeah, you have a good time. Then watch my videos and if you just think, oh, well, if the guy is boring, then no, fair enough. Maybe I am. <laughs> Probably. I, I personally think I am. I personally think also that I need a new engine. So, yeah. I hope that answers that question. And I'm sorry if I get way too much into detail, but that's just how I am. Um, what else was there? Oh yeah, that's right. Now this question came from many different guys and it came after my third uh, raw and uncut video. And by that way, I apologize that there wasn't a raw and uncut lately, but... Um, well, quite frankly, I didn't think of making one. There will be one for this week, definitely. But anywho, um, and that was that video where I was sitting in my truck in the truck wash. Uh, many of you guys asked, was it a traffic advisor in your truck? Uh, yes, that was a traffic advisor in my truck. Well, it is a traffic advisor in my truck. In fact, it's a directional ACE 6 from uh, STL Speed Tech Lights. Hi, why would you do that to me? days I will remember that the second button is high low and the first button is split one of these days not right now though. so yes to answer that question yes in f indeed that is uh, why do I miss that shift always um, that is indeed a traffic advisor and uh, that goes uh, hand in hand with the second question that I got from several people and that was what exactly is your work? well what exactly is my work? I, I said that in a thousand subscriber Q&A already or I tried to explain it my official job title is transportation representative um, now, what is that? Is that a dispatcher? Mm, yes and no. Um, there is certainly a big part of my job is... Uh, ay, 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 what is going on here? Wow, 20% damage. This is getting better by the minute. I'm thinking that the triaxle has to go and I'm gonna switch to a dually or to a no to dually <laughs> I've, I've seen the pickup and think of dualies no um, to a tandem so what exactly are we doing here I 
wish they would all be they would all have off ramps that nice and big. That would be nice. So, yeah, this is my official job title. Um, now, what does that encompass? Well, it is, uh, as I said, part of it is uh, definitely dispatch. Um, but it's also uh, human resources, um, safety and compliance. A lot of it is safety and compliance, where I make sure that the trucks are compliant with uh, Provincial and uh, federal laws and regulations, and that's uh, also where my uh, truck comes in because that's the reason that my truck is outfitted with uh, with uh, LED light bar and a uh, couple of uh, now with the hideaway kit in front and. Uh, uh, my headlights and taillights because uh, part of my job is and that's the part that's not sometimes so pleasant uh, going out to uh, incident or accident scenes and uh, conducting incident slash accident investigations um, what else well certainly there's some some part of speed enforcement involved and uh, I'll hiring new drivers and screening drivers uh, all this stuff like it's it's a very um, especially with this company it's a very unique job uh, it en encompasses way more than other companies would uh, have under the same job description but uh, that's okay with me because I never know really what the day brings um, the down part of it of course is uh, when you are on call the call might come at 325 at night and five minutes later you are in your truck on the highway and heading to an incident slash accident scene which unfortunately in this kind of weather happens uh, well I don't want to say on a regular basis but it is definitely more likely to happen than in the summertime and since we are that far north winters are long and dark and cold which is fine with me I'm not getting depressed I in fact I strive on winter and cold and all that good stuff when other people are like oh it's winter and it's snow and blah. I'm like the happiest person I mean, that doesn't mean I don't like summer but I definitely am a winter person yeah guys and this is the last uh, that was the last uh, question and I'm just seeing we are at the 33 minute mark which means that at the next possible uh, rest stop. I am going to pull out and we call this episode done. And I wanted to get to so much more and I thought it's only six questions. Well, there is no possible way you could talk for 33 minutes, but I guess I talk more than the average bear. <laughs> so let me uh, use these last minutes then that we spent together for today and uh, say again thank you each and every one of you guys uh, every one of my subscribers every one of my viewers whether you have subscribed, subscribed or not thank you very much and uh, well the year just started so there's lots to come and uh, I hope we will uh, or you will enjoy what is to come and what I have planned and you will be a big part of it because it's going to be a lot more uh, interaction between you, the viewer, and me, the well, content creator. And uh, as we are pulling here into the parking lot, and I hope they let me pull into the parking lot, it's going to be kind of pain of because I have to pull across all lanes and hope that I don't hit anybody. There was a truck coming. Yep. A 53 foot 2 right on.
by the next time or by the next ETS video I should also have uh, this engine is driving me insane there um, yeah by the next time that uh, we are together here at ETS 2 um, I will have hopefully I will have my uh, cheap man's version of the track IR set up and everything sorted together and uh, put the IR filter in my camera uh, took take the IR filter out of my camera and make a low pass filter uh, for the camera but uh, I'm gonna show you guys how and what I'm gonna do to that do that because some of you I know would like a track IR but well quite frankly $350 for the basic version, that's a pretty steep order, at least here in Canada, so. Anyways, uh, I don't want to talk too much longer, I just want to say again, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, I hope you enjoyed uh, knowing a little bit more or learning a little bit more about me, once again. And, uh, yeah, I just hope that we all kind of enjoy the year or the years ahead together uh, you as the viewers me as the content creator and uh, yeah i guess we'll see where it goes from here next goal 5k when hmm, i'm in no hurry whenever that might be so um i hope to see you uh or yeah i hope to see you in one of my live streams or uh interact with you uh, via comments uh, on the videos as usually if you like uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already um, leave me comments leave me suggestions leave me ideas uh, if you don't like something leave me that too that's fine thanks so much for watching guys god bless you <laughs>